How are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are one of those who gets a ding every single time that this vlog happens, well done. Well done, family. If you are new here, please click subscribe and the notification button. That way you don't miss a thing. I'm Flavia. Welcome back. So I thought before I get into trying to have different conversations, I'll give you a proper honest update of just where I've been, how life has truly honestly been. And you know, I mean, this is, this is a safe space where we're always honest. So I don't see why I should just leave out information. So the last time I was here, and you can go check out that vlog, I was all a new mom. At, well, I'm still a new mom, but you know what I mean? I was fresh into motherhood and uh, I was overwhelmed. I was learning a few lessons and uh, juggling a few things and trying to be as strong as possible and after that you know you're here boom to the ground i crashed and so here's the thing in my pregnancy i went through everything from bad morning sickness to just my legs were swollen which is edema which is they were this big i couldn't wear shoes for about five months and so every single month brought or every single trimester actually brought its own issues one of the issues that i had until i gave birth were allergies or hives and between the doctors and i we couldn't figure out what i was allergic to or who i was allergic to because <laughs> that's possible and so month one we're trying to figure it out nothing month two nothing <laughs> month three nothing and so i had a baby at home and i'd been through allergies you're on medication you're trying to figure things out so hives is when your body literally swells up if you've ever eaten something you're not supposed to eat and you're allergic to your body literally swells up into hives or welts and so imagine for me every single morning i'd wake up and just have hives no reason is it what i ate is it the person i talked to is it the clothes i wear you just don't know and so m most days were bad other days were not so bad um and so i've been to doctors try and figure it out and guess what three months later i'm sitting with a doctor and i'm saying listen you are my like, fifth doctor please help me figure this out what's wrong with me he looks at me and says you're dealing with stress. I said, yeah, mm -hmm. so what's the problem? He says, no, 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 that's the problem. You're getting allergies and hives because you're stressed. So I'm like, no, give me something I can change. Tell me I'm eating something and I stop eating that. Tell me it's carpets at home and I get rid of that. Tell me it's, I don't know, someone in my house and I get rid of them. He says, no, nope. you are stressed. Pregnancy comes with stress. Um, which is a prenatal depression sometimes for most people. And even when you've had the baby, you get postnatal depression, the baby blues and a whole of that. And it says most women can't even figure it out. Sometimes you just think you're crying for no reason or you are exhausted trying to decide on things or your body changes. You put on so much weight or you lose so much weight. Your skin changes, you get all sorts of things. And you're thinking, ah, hormones, I'm pregnant. But ideally it might be just that, you're stressed. And so anyway, two visits later, I still ask this doctor the same thing. How am I supposed to get rid of stress? How? I have a little baby. There's barely sleeping. Then there's life happening. And he talked to me and said, you know, the thing about working women or career women is that you're always trying to stay the same. You're always trying to keep your life the same. Even when you're pregnant, you're trying to keep your life as straight as possible. You don't want the pregnancy to quote unquote, and I use this very lightly, get in your way. And when you have the baby, you're rushing to it. You're rushing to get back to work. You're rushing to build your career again. You're rushing to be bigger and better and grander and launch this, launch that. And you don't take the time to say, maybe my life has changed. The baby's not going anywhere. Maybe I should start to shift my life to accommodate my new life. You know, to just say, I'm a mom now. I can breathe in, I can breathe out. If I take a day without making big grand decisions for success, I won't die. <laughs> in fact if anything it might be good for me and my skin you know and so he said that's the biggest problem he sees this is most working women who've always had their lives busy 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 going 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 not wanting to let go holding tightly onto the life before and that literally stresses them and so that's been my life i have i had refused to let go i think i'm still refusing to let go of my life before for my life now which is quite selfish but yeah so guys how do you distress how do you get rid of stress i've tried i now one of the things i do is eat 
not like that, so I eat chips, chicken every 10 seconds, but I try and eat, and then even if it's tea, even if it's a cup of tea, something as small as a cup of tea at home, I sit quietly in my own time, my own space, even if it's five minutes, and I, I savor the cup of tea, or porridge, <laughs> or whatever it is. So, if, if I get five minutes and I say I want to go look at Pinterest, I do it. It's for me. So I found that it's the little things that are helping me distress, not the big things of go to a spa. Because after all, the spas are not open in my country when, as if locked down. So I've had to be creative on how to distress. It's a work in progress. I'm telling you the stress is still there. But I'm trying to find little ways. If it's a meal I want to eat, I cook it. If it's something I want to have and I can bake it, I bake it. If it's silence, I keep quiet for like 30 minutes. If it's yelling at people in my home, poor them, Bambi, my husband, then I yell because just maybe that's what makes me happy and trying to figure out the distressing. But I was having a conversation with someone who, um, thanks to Jojo K. Taylor, J.K. Taylor actually with her Avian toothpaste are sponsoring this particular vlog. And the founder, J.K. Taylor and I were having a conversation and she was telling me, Flavia, allow. <laughs> those, were, those were exactly what she said, Flavia, allow. She says, you know, as women, you're looking at the baby and you're imagining, when I, will I ever get like three hours to myself? Eh? Will I ever have this and that? And in, in the not wanting to change your life, you actually stress yourself more. Then two, she told me, my dear friend, accept that what's going to happen is it's going to get worse before it gets better. Do you know why? Because I'd get two days that are nice. And then I go like, I forget, my routine is set. Everything is worked out. And then two days later, I'm like, I know nothing. I know nothing. I can't figure out anything. Everything is not working out. And so she said, no, no, no. Allow that your life is changed. First of all, it's gone. It's changed. Can you build a new life? And also two things will get worse before they get better. So maybe you're not a new mom. Uh, maybe just life is happening to you the way it is happening. And maybe my update and my honesty makes sense for you. Maybe where I am in life, you're thinking, eh, Flavia, I think you have it worse. Mine is worse, but that's what's been happening in my life. So an update on my allergies, they're still there. I'm still medicated, but I think if I remove the stress, they'll be gone. So mission distressing Flavia. <laughs> that's what we're trying to do. But the vlogs are back. Uh, now I'm strong enough to at least come and talk to you and do as much as I can. But even in all my stress, I did have a few great, awesome conversations about awesome topics with some awesome people. One of them was the seven streams of income. It's not a new conversation for all of you here on YouTube. I've had it with Barbara Katende, who is a financial coach. She's an author and so many great things. And so she talked about the seven streams of income, how you and I can have seven streams of income. The first time I talked about this, you guys said, no, 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 Flavia, get a vlog, sit down, explain to us so we get pen and paper and write down. So if you can get pen and paper, hmm, this next vlog, I'm not moving here. You, you move, go get pen and paper, sit down, and then click part two of this entire vlog. And I'll tell you how you can actually incorporate seven streams of income. Because I know time, times have changed. Do you see a shopping list? I used to have a shopping list that had so blue band, what, 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 bread. Some people in the house want salt bread. Some people want sweet bread. Now it's bread. Any br bread. you be even lucky you have bread in the house. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So the seven streams of income is next. Go get a pen paper or a book or whatever get a few people to sit down with you and tell them part two and then click 